Hello, and welcome to another video. Assalamu alaikum, friends. I really need some tea before I start this, because this is a very important video. And very important videos mean that you need to be hydrated, and my water's just not going to cut it. Excellent. We can start. All right, so really big news. And I should start from the beginning before I lead up to the big part, though I'm sure I'm going to put it in the title of the video. So you already know what happened, but hey! All right. So... I started my internship um, in January, and it's down in the heart of the city, and it's kind of far away. It's 25 miles, so you know it's 50 miles round trip whenever I'm going there. It takes a long time. It's like two hours of my day just spent in my car, fighting traffic, screaming out song lyrics to myself because I have to keep entertained. Anyway, I finished my internship a little bit early on Thursday, and I'm like, I feel so brain dead. And the idea popped in my head of, there's a mosque nearby. I should go to it. And I tried to go to it on Tuesday, but had gotten lost and couldn't find it. So this time I was like, I'm going to find it, and I'm going to go in. And so I'm driving there. It's a mile away from my internship. And literally, as I pass every block, I'm getting more and more terrified. Like, seriously, every time I'd be stopped at a stoplight, I'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? But I'd keep moving forward. And eventually I, I stop in the parking lot, I go inside, and then I'm like, what have I done? What have I done? First of all, there's only like three people there, and I'm lost. I try to go to the area that says it's for ladies, but the lights are off, so I have no idea what I'm doing. And finally, a guy just kind of stops me, and he's like, sister, are you lost? Are you looking for something? And I'm like, I've never been here before. I don't know what I'm doing. And he's like, well, would you like some tea? And I was like, yes, please. So I just like sat there in like a communal area and had some tea and read my Quran until like an hour later after they had done um, Asr prayer. And this boy comes up to me. He's like, the Imam's going to come and see you. And I'm just like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and I'm like, just sitting there really nervous. Just kind of like, all right. And then finally... Um, one of the men who works there, who's not actually the imam, uh, takes me up to like their offices and introduces me to the imam. So I'm sitting in this nice office and, uh, one of the brothers who's a PhD student at the university where this, um, Majid is located, he's like, here, have this Quran and have this book about the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And here, have this hijab and what's your story? And he's just so nice. He's actually like, doesn't talk like that. He was very calm, but he was so nice. And he's like, wow, it's so amazing that you're a revert. And he's like, you know, I can't believe this is like your second time ever at a mosque. And so he gave me like YouTube videos to look up of other reverts, and he's like, well, you know, a lot of the sisters get together every Friday night um, to listen to one of the sisters who's a revert gives lectures. I was like, okay, that sounds good. So he gave me the information on it, and I just kind of decided right from there, I'm like, I'm going to make it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go there on Friday. So I did. So I get off from work. I have time to eat lunch with my parents, and then I uh, trek on down, and I'm, you know, I'm really nervous, and I get inside of the mosque, and, like, there's these two little girls who are, like, four and six, who I, I go to, and I'm like, I've never been here before. I'm like, do you know where Sister Yasmin's speaking? And the little girls are so cute. They're just like, I think it's going to be in there. And one of the girls goes... This is only your second time here. She goes, this is mine. She looks at her hand. She just goes, I've been here a lot. I'm like, you're very lucky. And so I go in and there's a bunch of other sisters sitting around talking before the lecture starts. And I just kind of sit there and listen. And then finally one of them asks, they're like, so hi, Salam, who are you? I'm like, I'm Missy. I'm like, this is only my second time here, but I'm here to listen to Sister Yasmin. Um, and they're like, oh, that's cool. Welcome. And um, anyway, Sister Yasmin comes in, and she's like, have we met before? I'm like, no, you know, I'm new. I'm a recent revert. And she's just like, oh, mashallah, and gives me this giant hug. And she's like, you know, kind of asking my story a little bit. And she's like, so you, where did you take your shahada? I was like, well, I actually took it by myself. I've never taken it with witnesses. And she goes, then inshallah, you can take it tonight. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> 
So I listened to her lecture, which was great. It was about one of the surahs and was so informational and just wonderful, wonderful to listen to. Um, I was so happy the whole time. And like this, a couple of the sisters are like, come sit by me. And they're like giving me hugs and stuff. And then at the end, um, the sisters have me go to the front and they're kind of explaining, you know, what it means to be Muslim, which I'm like, I, I pretty much knew, but it was good to have it really, this is like the final reiteration. And they're like, are you ready to take Shahada in front of everybody? I was like, yeah. So I took it in front of like 25 sisters and then everybody like rushed up and was hugging me and was like exchanging phone numbers with me. And I just, it was so wonderful. And like immediately after is when uh, Isha Prayer was. So they're like pulling me along, put me in between two of the ladies. And one of the ladies is like, you're my daughter now. You come by me. <laughs> and like they're teaching me how to pray and just, ah! oh my gosh, it was just so wonderful. And I felt so loved and just mashallah. They, I, I can't express enough how welcomed I felt and how happy I was that I went. And just the more I think about it, the more overjoyed I am. And so like they gave me phone numbers and they're like, you know, you will need to practice your pronunciation of Arabic, especially for learning Surah Fatiha. They're like, call us anytime. They invited me over to their house for this morning, but I, I couldn't really go. But I was just still, I was like overwhelmed by the generosity that I felt. And so, um, I'm just, uh, it, it just blows my mind, everything about it. So that's the big story for right now is that I took the Shahada and I, I made a post last night. If you follow my Instagram or Tumblr, then you've um, possibly seen it. And I was just talking about the story and I'm just, you know, so thankful. And I remember just the whole drive home, I'm just listening to NPR and just keep being like, Alhamdulillah, I can't believe that this has happened. And uh, I'm just very grateful right now. I really am. So inshallah, I'm planning on going back next Friday night because just it was, you know, it was like a Bible study, but a Quran study. I don't know what the proper word for it is. Obvious, I'm an obvious reverb, aren't I? Um, but it was just so wonderful listening to everything and everything being put into perspective. And it was just so funny, too, that at the end of the Isha prayer, um, the imam was speaking over the intercom, and he mentioned like a, a hadith about a man who takes the shahada. And when all the sisters are like, isn't it funny that he mentions one of like a story at the end of this about someone taking the shahada right after you took yours. And like he didn't even know about it. And it just, uh, it just warms my heart. And so I'm very thankful. And I came home and just felt really at peace and like, um, took like full shower, which you're supposed to do after your shahada. And I cannot remember the word for it. It's like ghoul or something like that. And just like hung out with my roommate for a while and felt really happy. Woke up early this morning for my prayers because Elmer woke me up an hour beforehand. Seriously, Elmer stole a ponytail and started playing with it this morning. And then he had a pom-pom that he was playing with. And so I was up at like four in the morning and didn't have to do Fajr until like 5.43. So, and then I was up further until like 6.30. So, ah, this past night, man, let me tell you. Being a cat is like having a Fajr alarm clock, which I'm very thankful. I'm thankful every day for Elmer because I love him and he's my baby and he does wake me up very effectively for Fajr, but man, man, can he be annoying in the middle of the night. And he comes up and he's like, I love you, mommy, let's play. And they're like, no, it's three in the morning. Oh, let me sleep. Dear goodness, cat. Anyway, so you're probably noticing I'm wearing hijab. Yes, I am going to try to wear it more. Um, probably not going to wear it to work though. Reason being, nobody there knows I'm Muslim and I'm supposed to run Bible studies in mass. <laughs> so that's a little difficult. But I am going to start to wear it more, inshallah. Uh, like going out and uh, meeting up with friends. And I don't know, I'm just, I want to slowly start wearing it more. I have no goals. I find it best in life to not really have certain, like, rock solid goals. 
because it just doesn't work for me. And I recognize that I'm just not the type of person who can have like a steadfast goal and stick with it. It's just easier for me to make slow lifestyle changes. And then they stick. Like when I became a vegetarian or started just dressing a little bit more modestly, which, ah, uh, ah, uh, mashallah to my mother's best friend, uh, Barbie, who bought me this awesome sweater. Ah, uh, it was so sweet. I met up with my mom and uh, stepdad and their friend Barbie yesterday for lunch. And Barbie's like, I have a present for you. And I was just like, why? And she goes, because you deserve it. And it's just so beautiful. And it, I love it. It's awesome. And it's really flowy and really big and really long. And I'm like, she doesn't even know that she bought me a super hijab friendly article of clothing. Um, but it was just really sweet because she's she told my mom, she's like, can we just trade daughters? She goes, I want Missy. And I was just like, oh. I don't know. And like my mother said something a couple of weeks ago where she's like, she's like, I'm just so proud of you. You are such a wonderful daughter. And I was like, this is such a change from the fact that my mother and I have not really gotten along at all over the past like six or seven years. So I found that as I've become Muslim, I've become much more forgiving of my parents and much nicer to my parents. And I'm very happy that that has happened because I realized that, you know, not getting along with my parents is not completely my parents' fault. It's definitely also my fault. It's a, it's an exchange. It's 50-50. And changing me is probably going to help massively because it's easier for me to change than it is for my parents who are much older. Or at least that's... That's the way I see it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been a whirlwind of a video and a whirlwind of a week. And I can't believe all that has happened, but I am so thankful for everything. And um, I just, you know, thank you to all of you who have been watching these videos and have been supporting me and have told me to go to a mosque because I'm really glad I listened to you guys and finally did. Um, and, you know, I'm so thankful for all of you. Uh, and for my friends who have been so supportive and just, you know, mashallah to all of you guys. I love you so much. Um, inshallah, I would like to continue making these videos. I do have a lot of videos still in store that I've made even back in November. I've got like coming out videos. I have, um, about me videos, uh, chronic illness videos, etc. So inshallah, I'd like to post those eventually. Uh, you guys know I'm pretty bad at actually posting my videos. I make them on the whim and then I'm like, ah, I'll post this a month from now. I'm horrible. I know. Anyway, so I, I just can't stop like smiling and yelling. So I hope you all are doing great. And inshallah, we'll see you all later. So, bye!